guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, we are going to be doing an old school lip swatch video and I cannot wait. Makeup by Mario recently launched seven new amazing shades in their Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum formula and the photos that they used to market the launch of all of these Oh, they got me good. I swear I had every intention of only purchasing a couple of these new shades because I obviously don't need all of them, but when I was trying to pick out the shades that I thought you guys would be most interested in seeing, I had a really hard time doing that. I was like, I feel like these are similar enough that people would really wanna see all of these swatched. Cause initially I was thinking I would just show a couple shades in a viral products video, but when I was really taking a look at everything and again, trying to pick and choose, I was like, why don't we just do an entire dedicated lip swatch video because all of these shades are unbelievably beautiful. So I bought them all. So today I am going to be swatching all seven of these new creamy gloss shades, both on my lips and then side by side on my arm so that you can really get a feel for each shade and figure out which one of these you would like to purchase, if any. Maybe you don't wanna buy any of these and you just wanna hang out with me today and watch me swatch some lip products. And that's okay too, I'm just glad you're here. So without further ado, let's just dive on into it. First up is a sheer pale pink called Pink Glow. Even though this is described as being sheer, I feel like I was not expecting it to be this sheer. Like on me personally, I feel like this just looks like a clear gloss with the teeniest, tiniest hint of pink. Like it's giving me more clear than pink, especially when I look at the swatch photos that they have on their website on the lips of the models that they have and in the arm swatch. I feel like it looks more pigmented, almost like it has a little bit more warmth and I'm just not really seeing any of that on me, but maybe that's just because of my natural lip color, who knows? So I do think it's pretty. I mean, it's not like I dislike it. It's just not quite what I was expecting. So I would say if you are looking for a shade that looks incredibly natural and just has like a barely there kiss of color, then Pink Glow will definitely be for you. Next is a light beige called Nude Glow. This is the level of pigment that I'm talking about because it still looks very natural. It's not something that is intensely pigmented or really full coverage in color. It still is light. It's just not pretty much non-existent like with Pink Glow. This shade reminds me of a cup of coffee that has a ton of creamer added to it. You know, and it like doesn't really even look like coffee anymore. It's basically milk with a dash of coffee. That's what this shade gives me. And I'm actually surprised by how much I like this shade. I feel like I typically steer clear of anything like this that's really light and creamy and milky because it can really wash me out. But this, it's like it was almost about to be too light and it was gonna wash me out, but it didn't quite get there. And I actually really like it. So if you're into lighter kind of beigey browns, then I think that you would really enjoy this. Next up is a pinky mauve called Petal Glow. This shade is absolutely beautiful. You guys know that I love lip colors like this that are just like your lips, but better. And I honestly feel like that was kind of the theme of this entire launch of new shades, but all of them just have subtle variations in undertone. So again, that is really why I wanted to make this video so you could just see all of those on me and on my arm. Anyway, on me, I feel like this one looks more brownish than it does mauve. Like I would consider this to be more of a light brown pink, but that's why I love it. I think that it's so beautiful, so flattering, just such a good everyday pink. And especially when we take a look at the next two shades, you'll be able to see, I feel like those have much more of that true mauve or purpley undertone. Whereas this is not giving me that quite as much, but I freaking love it, it's so pretty. Next, we have a true mauve called Rosewood Glow. This is such a beautiful shade, I absolutely love it, and this is what I was talking about. It definitely has more of that purpley undertone than the last shade, but at the same time, it still is very wearable. This isn't going to look like you're wearing purple lipstick. It's done in a very, very flattering way. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is the perfect color for fall because it gives you that little bit of depth that the first couple shades don't because they're super, super light without this looking like a deep, bold, vampy lip. Because I know a lot of people are just not into wearing lip colors like that anymore. So if you want something that is just like a little bit deeper, but still very wearable and has the perfect undertone for fall, this. Next is a sheer spiced pink called Blush Glow. Oh my gosh. I can't decide if this one is my favorite. They're all so good in different ways. This is definitely the most comparable to Petal Glow because it also has that really beautiful brownish pink look. However, I feel like this one is a little bit warmer in undertone and is definitely a little bit deeper as well. So if you liked the feel of Petal Glow, but you wanted something a little bit darker, this is going to be the one for you. This is also such a perfect fall shade, but 
At the same time, this is just something you can wear year round and have it look beautiful and seasonally appropriate no matter what. And even though this one is also considered to be a sheer shade, it's definitely not as sheer as Blush Glow. It has more pigment than that and the perfect amount if you ask me. So good. Second to last is a sheer brown called Honey Glow. This is delicious. I think that this is my favorite kind of brown tone lip color because it's such a subtle way to do brown. It doesn't look too intense. It doesn't look vampy, but at the same time, it still gives you that depth and warmth and deliciousness. And compared to Nude Glow, which was the other kind of brown tone shade, but much, much lighter, this one's obviously darker, but I do feel that this one is quite a bit warmer as well. So if you feel like that light kind of cooler tone beige is not as flattering on you, I think you would love. And last but not least, we have the deepest shade in the collection, which is a spice brown called Cinnamon Glow. This shade is so on trend right now. I don't, what are they calling it? Like glazed brownie? or frosted brownie, something like that. This is exactly that kind of lip shade where it's chocolatey, but there's also like a little bit of mauve in this. It's good. Even though this one is the most outside my comfort zone because it is darker and like leaning more towards vampy, it still is so beautiful. And if you're somebody that has a deeper skin tone, I think that this would look Um, I was just in the process of editing this video and I realized that my audio cut out, so I am back several hours later to finish what I had already filmed. So if it looks a little bit different, that's why. If you had a darker skin tone than me, anywhere from like tan to deep to dark, this would look stunning. The only issue that I really have with this shade is because of the fact that it is the darkest and I have a lighter skin tone, I do have to work with it a little bit more to make sure that it gives me a nice kind of even wash of color. Otherwise, if I just throw this on like I do with the other shades, it can look a little bit splotchy and streaky. But that's not because this shade has a different formula than the rest. They all have the same formula and it is a pretty messy one, which I would say is definitely my biggest complaint about this product. If you have never used it before, the best way that I can describe it is melty. The more that you use it, the more that you swatch it, the product does start to kind of like melt over the top of the bullet and just get a little bit messy to use. So just wanted to make sure I was bringing that up in case that would be a deal breaker for any of you because it normally would be a deal breaker for me if I didn't love the way that this product looks and feels on my lips so much. I do feel like it's difficult for me to find lip products like this that have light coverage, a really nice juicy glossy finish that feels so comfortable on the lips, hydrating, softening, non-sticky. That also comes in so many amazing shades. I don't find that every day. So I put up with it. And with that, we will wrap up this video here because those are all seven of the new shades that I wanted to swatch for you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Have you tried this product? What are your thoughts? Have you picked up any of the new shades? Are you going to after watching this video? If so, as always, I will have all of these listed and linked in order of use in my description box below. And you know the drill. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support in doing all of those things. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.